The thing you get with all these flex picks is the last pick that gets a winning matchup. You have to last pick a winning matchup. This will be Darius versus Mundo. If we do see the Darius, it will be locked in. So it will be Tal on the Darius. Last time we saw this was getting hooked against King Zone Dragon X in that big match. So yeah. Darius versus Mundo, that is advantage to the Darius for certain. It will be that Yasuo mid lane you will imagine, but there's a little bit of ambiguity because we've already seen Vladimir dealing very well with Agalia by the Flash Wolves earlier this tournament. Yeah, and also dealing very well with a solo damage composition as sure. well. Flash Wolves versus RNG yesterday. But it does look like the Shen is going to be getting through lane with the Vladimir. Bang has shown that he has warmed to a lot of these casters on the bottom side, even if he began the season with the big disengage that the uh, Barrel does provide. Speaking of the Barrel, we've seen Gragas turned on. Yeah, he's going to get stunned and altered. Here's the ultimatum entrance, but Faker, he's going to land in much faster. Doesn't matter because Baolan, he's joined the fight. In comes the support. Wolf gets the sick double taunt, and they get rid of the Camille. Rookie's going to burn to death as Wolf picks up that kill, and Baolan now running for the hills we got an ultimate coming out of tal he looks terrifying and he is if you're a fan of cows or ig the tiny oh, yeah. marquee is speaking of tiny yeah faker not gonna get stunned up but the ultimatum is in there it's a party in the mid lane as wolf's going to turn up gets himself a taunt but it's a four versus two well, Ning's gonna make his way in, he's gonna get taunted as well as Rookie. He's gonna get bounced out of the fight with the cast, Ning burning to death as Wolf picks up the kill. Now Juke, he can't do anything, the Mundo hasn't been tanky enough as Bowland's just gonna flash himself out of the way. Faker, he's gonna flash over as well, can't last breath off the Blast Cone unfortunately as he's now just looking for the cow in the jungle. Okay, here's the Nosferatu, Vladimir, as Bang does have the Predator and should be able to catch up before the execution comes in. You are well and truly in the paddock, Balan, and now you're going to turn into Mincemeat. Oh, uh, that doesn't work, Bang, unfortunately. Doesn't go through the... Uh... So, top side of the map, Tile doing a great job. Here on the bottom side, though, is Bang. He's going to dash cannon his way forward, and Faker, he wants to find a knock-up. Not going to get Balan just yet as Jackie Love explodes. Wolf! He's going to make sure he doesn't die using his stop watch, but it actually makes sure that he falls down. We've got the ultimatum once again coming in as Faker takes so long to kill, but they do eventually take him down and Juke, he's also going to die. Tal picks up that kill with his gigantic axe. We're going to see another re-engage, I think, by IG. They're certainly sticking around. Yeah, health advantage is in favor of SKT, though, as they get the bop. Onto Bowland, Hero's entrance comes down, but the Galio not in a great position at the moment. Ning, he is dying to the red buff, but shouldn't actually fall down here as Blank, he's very low. Wolf, the tower has gone down, and now Blank gets rid of Jackie Love. A lot of the damage now missing as Tal. He misses the apprehend, but this Gargoyle's in a hell of a bad place. Four-man taunt, but who cares? You're dead. Ends up being a nice little chunk. We'll see if he oh, can get Bowland, it. Oh, Bowland, he might be able to do it. Oh, no, just ignores it, and Shelly gets all of her work done twice. She gets her full name this time, Cheryl Dean. <laughs> she deserves it on that particular scenario. Uh, this might just be a kill. Yep, bang. He's got a queue after that one. Didn't even need it to clear out the minion wave. Juke, not going to get knocked up and does have the sadism, so they need to try and burn him down. They are going to be able to do so. That is a big party, and Faker is going to grab that kill. Bang, just going to zone them all away. Blank, he's going to turn up. They should be able to get themselves a boob as Faker just needs a couple more for the knockup. Last breath at the last second, and they should be able to do it here. The explosive cast is even going to get thrown in as they're playing with their food. Juke surviving for a long time, but you ain't getting out of this, and Faker gets another kill. Three, two, and three now on the Ask. Going to use a blue trinket to do so, but SKT, they're not stopping. It's almost they down to half health. As we've got teleports being invested, the Mundo is going to make his way in. Tal hasn't even used his teleport yet as Juke. This is not the Mundos that you expect from a lot of the games you've been in is that's going to be the ultimate battle and gets himself in there with the unbreakable will and it's going to be difficult to take him down wolf burns to death on the backside as the flash in from ig the hero's entrance ning should be taken down faker uses the stopwatch it's some perfect timing as now it's the jungler taken out tal he's not going to get any resets in this fight as the slows Re now come in from blank juke trying to get in there but he's not going to do too much oh! and and ig are on the board in the team fight that's that is the play you're looking for from Rookie for 22 minutes. Dominates the fight with a huge flash taunt. They're going to turn on to Baron. There's no one left. It's an ace on SKT. And SKT will be shaking their heads now. It was an ace. Wolf, he's got no one to stand united with now. And SKT will have to look on in horror as the minions get purple and the rift gets dark. Really nicely played by IG. The replay will have to be shown to you guys at home to do it justice. They're really on a brawl with this man, but they're going to get it. There's no one to contest it. Huge moment for IG. And Blank threatening 
with that cask. Who has the engages? In goes IG. Hero's entrance comes down. It's a really nice timing on the Hexag Ultimatum and the perfect timing with the stopwatch. We've got the Guardian Angel going on. On for Faker is in the back line. Can he find Jackie oh. Love? He can, but he's just going to die. And IG, they may just win the game. They needed it now. This is the time to win the game when they're so strong with the Baron buff. SKT don't have the reliable wave clear to stop it. They're going to look for the end. Yep, we've got 30 seconds on both solo laners. Bang. Can you get something? done no hemo plague and no nexus turret as well balan he jumps his way forward they don't get the taunt out of rookie this time as juke he's going down low but that's always a faint because he's a mondo and wolf is gonna suffer the cost as now nexus turret number two going to fall the nexus sure to follow and four thousand gold for lead it's gonna be invictus gaming turning around an early game that was awful and taking down skt rookie three and oh against faker